Hey there guys, this is NDM here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play Mega Man 4. Right, so in the last episode we didn't actually do much because I spent most of the first half of the episode doing Drill Man and then we did Toad Man and Bright Man. So I said in the last episode we're going to do Ferro Man, so let's start this up. Now this is the easiest stage in my opinion in the game, it's like, well no, actually, no this is the second easiest. Uh, I wouldn't say this is harder than Toad. Toad Man. Well, no, I would say this is harder than Toad Man. Toad Man's easier, yeah. Right, so at the beginning you got the quicksand part. This is the hardest part of the stage. I'm just trying to get through this crap. It's kind of annoying, but when you get deeper into it, you start doing like more... You're like on ground instead of being in quicksand. So the whole level, you're not actually in quicksand. It's just the first part of it. And I think we've done it, so yeah. Right, okay, let's drop down. Wow, I took a lot of damage. Jesus Christ, I need some health from somewhere. I was wondering where my mouse was for a second there, because I didn't see it, because I thought I left it on the emulator, on like the screen of where I'm recording, but nope. It's on the side, I see it. Ah, oh, dude, those ladybugs killed me. The flying ladybugs. The flying, rotating, spinning ladybug heads. Oh, what are you kidding me? Game over? Darn it. Well, I'm going to get three stages done today. I'm not going to get four. Um, because, basically, there's three stages um, that I'm going to get done in this episode. Which is Dust Man, uh, Pharaoh Man, obviously, and Skull Man. And then there's another three more robots to do in the next episode, which is Dive Man, Drill Man, and Ring Man. So that's why I'm going to do three for three in this episode and, then, and the next. And then obviously we'll be heading off to Dr. Wily's castle in future episodes. Which will be all done, which will all be done blind. Ring Man stage won't be done blind because I've actually gotten up to the boss of Ring Man stage, but I just couldn't beat the boss. That was the only thing that I couldn't do in his stage. Um, Dive Man stage is not blind. I got to Dive Man's boss too. Uh, Skull Man, Skull Man's level will not be done blind either because I've actually gotten to Skull Man's boss too. Just couldn't beat them. That's all. And. Uh, Dust Man, I got to no, I didn't get to du I didn't get to the boss in Dust Man stage. No, so that one will be done blind too, and that's the next stage that I'll be doing as well. So after this one, all right? I hate these mummies right here because they go into the wall and then they come back out and then they go into the wall, come back out and then they spew. They like throw their heads at you. They spew their heads at you. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Well, I've been playing Conker's Bad Fur Day most of the day. Um, I'm not going to get Banjo because we recorded today because it's kind of late now. Because uh, it will take me time to render and then it will take me time to upload as well. Because the computer is crap. Which I've already said plenty of times before in other episodes. So I don't need to go ahead and mention that again. Um... So yeah, I've also got to edit the tags as well for that banjo episode I uploaded yesterday. That's also another thing that i got to do. I'll probably do that when I'm uploading this episode today. And I've also got to put a description in it. I put the title in the video, uh, the title of the episode. I just didn't put the um, description or the tags. And the description and the tags are the most important part of any... Um, when you're editing any video on YouTube. Right, so do we have, yeah, we have Rush Coil. I'm pretty sure we can, obvious, well, yeah, obviously we can. <laughs> Rush Coil launches you high up in the air. Of course you can get that. I haven't actually used my Mega Buster, I don't think, in this whole LP, but I played Mega Man 5 the other day, just, like, to do one stage, and the Mega Buster in that game is really cool. Much better than the Mega Buster in this game, I think. But the range of it is so cool, and the way how it shoots is awesome, too. Damn it. So I didn't think you got the uh, Mega Buster in Mega Man 5, but you do. So, yeah, this part of the stage is also a pain in the ass, because you got Because these things are like uh, the platforms in Mega Man 1 in Iceman stage when they shoot stuff out at you. 
I cannot do Iceman stage in the proper way of doing it. I have to use that M shooter that launches out those platforms so you can walk across the sky. Like, I can't do it manually. Like, jump from one platform to the next because that's way too hard. Alright, I think we're coming up towards the boss now and I'm pretty sure we're definitely past the checkpoint at this stage. Alright. Hey, yeah, this is the one of the hardest parts of the stage as well because you got to time your jumps perfect. But I think we're here, aren't we? This uh, should be about right, I think. But yeah, when the mummies go in the wall and they come back out again, they don't uh, regain their health back. Like, they take the same amount of damage as you took before they went into the wall. Right, so this boss's weakness is uh, Bright Man's power, but I'm not going to use it because I know that I'm going to die anyway. Because, um, you remember, Crick, remember Quick Man in Mega Man 2? Uh, when he used Flash Man's weapon, it only took like half of his health away. Well, that's the same with this. And then the second half of it, you have to shoot him, so I knew that I was going to die. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. No, it isn't the same, is it? Uh, no, because you, you flash him, and then you can shoot him. Yeah. Which... I have to jump up, though, to... That was probably a very bad place to get him because I have to keep jumping. And, uh. But I think this guy's attack pattern is pretty easy to dodge anyway, so. Even if I don't take the health that I want. Well, I'm doing pretty good so far. It's we might be able to get him more than one go. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> See, that boss was easy. Because all you gotta do is use Bright Man's weapon. And you can take him out just like that. Alright, I think that deserves a sip of Pepsi. Hmm. You got Pharaoh Shooter, or Pharaoh Shot. I think this is like your fireman weapon, so you can shoot out bursts of fire with it. Alright, stage select. We're not going continue like I did with Toad Man stage, right? So here we go. Dust Man is next. Alright, I tried doing the stage before and I struggled with it, but. <laughs> I hear that the boss is really easy though, so you can easily beat him with the arm cannon anyway. Yeah, I think it's about time we start using our Mega Buster here for like these hard hats and stuff. Ah, oh, dude, what the hell? No way. They just came up and knocked me in the pit. Well, that was a bit of a surprise. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. And I wasn't expecting a game over either. Well, to be honest, I did die quite a few times in Pharaoh Man stage, and um, I had to take damn it. Well, I had to take a, another extra life away on the boss, and the same thing killed me again. What the hell? What do I have to wait for those things to come up? Like hang on the edge? Because I got to live on the edge of tomorrow. Yeah, those shield things can get annoying as well. You have to, like, jump over... The okay, don't do the same mistake again. Right, there we go. <laughs> I was about to do it again, but... Is there any more of those things? Yep, I knew it. Right, okay. Yeah, you ain't screwing me over this time, dude. Yeah, Dustman stage is one of those situations where the stage is harder than the boss. Uh, I could do with that health, because I know that I'm going to take some damage along the way. I'm not sure if there's another E-Tank in this stage, but that'd be very handy if there was, because we've got one in our collection already. Uh, I don't want to use it in this stage, though, so... Alright, we've got a, a big robot here. I'm not sure if you get any of those bubblegum dispensers in this level. I think you do, at some point. Like... Yeah, and you got these blocks that come out, and you have to... Well, they don't disappear, I don't think. Oh, damn it! How did I miss that? <laughs> and now I've got to redo the whole stage again, right? Because I don't think I'm... No, I definitely didn't make the checkpoint. Yeah, you hoped it was a checkpoint, but it wasn't. Your hopes are short-lived. Oh, well, extra life. Well, I'll definitely be taking that. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for you. 
Wow, there's loads of them coming up. Oh, dude. Yeah, keep shooting like crazy, and maybe they'll just... What the hell? You, you were waiting for that, wasn't you? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you were just waiting for me to stop shooting, so then you just suddenly come back up again. But these things can get annoying. What the hell? And it dropped an extra life. One of them did. Oh my god! Those things are so annoying. They keep respawning all the time, and then multiple ones keep coming out. Okay, uh, <laughs> well, I'm definitely getting three stages done in this episode, because I'm probably going to be spending quite a lot of time on Dustman stage. Skullman stage is really easy, surprisingly. Much easier than this. This is probably one of the hardest stages, besides um, Ringman, and I think I lost all my extra lives, so... Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> well, this isn't so going so good, is it? I like those chainsaws in the background, very good detail. Yeah, the Mega Man stages are all very very detailed. Like they've all they've always had like those things in the background since Mega Man 2. Like he, in in Metal Man stage you had all those cogs in the background. And in this stage you have chainsaws in the background. Ah, oh, I'm I'm so tempted just to use Rush Coil right now. Well no, I could probably make the jump there. But I don't even know if you can make it make it with rush coil because those things just come out way too fast. Okay, just keep shooting. Yeah, that's right. Do what you did last time. Yeah, and I'll definitely be needing that health pickup that you get from here. Uh, no, you could probably slide and get that because if you slide, you probably get more air boost. Air boost. I think Dustman's weakness is Ringman, but there's no way you're going to beat Ringman before you beat Dustman, I can tell you that now. So, like, Dustman is basically obligatory to be defeated with the arm cannon. Because I didn't see any other way of how you're going to beat it, because me and Tyler, I know I mentioned this before, but we did Ringman stage and it was so hard, like the boss. It's impossible to beat with the arm cannon anyway, his like, attack pattern is way too fast. If any of you guys could beat Ringman with the arm cannon, I would give you a hundred dollars or pounds or whatever. Yeah, get a hundred dollars and no, get uh like two hundred pounds and convert it into dollars. I don't know how much two hundred pounds is worth in dollars, but oh my god, I am sucking at the stage. What the heck? This is a terrible run, dude. But yeah, this is the whole point of a blind LP, I guess, just doing it. Like, I never made it past that uh, block where you have to jump on the blocks. I never made it past that bit of the stage. And as soon as they hit you, you're dead, basically. And as soon as they hit you, you're going to fall into the pit regardless. Like, there's no way of getting back out. How many game overs is that now? What, like, three game overs? <laughs> Like, I know that I'll do Skullman stage pretty good, because, like, I know that stage very well. I just don't know this stage at all that great. I mean, that's probably why I was doing so bad at Drillman, because, like, I never did Drillman stage before. At least I've done, or actually attempted this stage before, but... Drillman? No, I haven't. That's why I think you have to use Rush Marine to get over that. I know he's waiting for it. Yeah, see? See that? I was trying to use my Mega Buster on that. What the hell? How did my bullets miss that thing? What the hell? Makes no sense. Right, I want to try and slide here so I can get that health. What? No, I slid! Oh, I hate the emulation controls on this sometimes. Like, urgh. You try and slide, but you end up jumping. It's ridiculous. It's Redonk Diddly Onkyus. Yeah, just spam the shit out of it. You don't have to use your Mega Buster on those, but I think it kills them a lot faster, though. But Ugh, Having these things on the screen at the same time as the blocks slows things down like crazy. Okay, that thing's trying to follow me right now. 
Okay, I'm not... Right, just go away because you're going to lag me out and I'm going to die. <laughs> Yeah, having too, in, having too much stuff on the screen lags it really bad. And these blocks do crumble, apparently, so... If you spend too much time on them, they're gonna crumble. Oh, finally, I did that part of the stage, yay! Alright, we're getting somewhere then. At long last. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. I think this is the first time we came across one of these, but those are but those robots give you very handy weapons. They give you extra lives, e tanks, some health pickups. I think. Oh, this part of the stage. Uh, wow. Well, yeah, this part of the stage. I have some videos of that part, but uh, trying to do it yourself. Well, watching it is different to actually playing it for yourself. So, like, I know what I'm. I know what to do, but it's just like doing it for yourself is hard. A lot harder than, you know, watching it. Because <laughs> you have to live the experience yourself. You can't just watch videos and expect to do it on your first try, you know. It actually takes your own skill to do it. Okay, this is going to take my full concentration here, because, um... There's going to be a part, like, up ahead... Where you actually start getting crushed by it. Yeah, you can see those things, those ones touch the floor right there. I think we're near the boss anyway, so... How many extra lives do we have? Right, we got two. That's good enough. Okay. Now what you got to do here, you have to... Do that, basically. Go back and forth and um, try and create a path like that. Oh, how did I make that? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, I was sure I was for sure that I was dead then, but <laughs> I managed to scrape that from the skin of my teeth. Yeah, there is a bubblegum dispenser in this stage. Well, I'm pretty sure we're near the boss now. I, I think it's right up here, actually. Uh, there's one more robot, I think, that's right outside the boss door. You know, like classic Mega Man stuff we got here, where they have a gigantic robot guarding the boss door. All right, here we go. This is it, guys. This is Dust Man. We finally made it at long last. Alright, so I'm just going to use my regular old pea shooter here, I think. Yeah, he doesn't do that much damage against you, but you don't really do that much damage against him either, so... Well, you do with the Mega Buster, however. Ah, no, I'm going to die. I kind of want to use my E-Tank, so... You know what, I am going to... Because it's always good to use them against your bot, against a boss. Like never against, like, uh, like you know, during a stage. I would never use an e-tank during a stage because you never know how tough the boss is going to be. And right now I'm sucking. Maybe I shouldn't have used the e-tank then. <laughs> oh my god, that vacuum is kind of annoying. Because when he vacuums you, you can't use your Mega Buster. You have to actually charge it up before he starts. Um, okay. Well, that stuff kind of takes quite a lot of damage. <laughs> oh, dude, no way did I die from that. No. No. I died. I got game. Oh, no, I ain't got game over. How many extra lives? Right, okay, we have like two tries against this. If I die, I die. <laughs> Simple as.
Jump, you got jump. No, dude, you meant to jump. Yeah, all right. Oh. No way! No! Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, right. <laughs> uh, Alright, okay. If I die. Um. Well, I made a save state, but, like, just then. Just in case I die. Because I'm on my last extra life here. And I don't want to do this whole stage again. <laughs> so. Okay, we're doing really good this time. Squad. I've, I think I've got this guy's attack pattern down now. Yeah. Kinda. Wow, that Mega Buster really does so much damage. Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, he's down. Dustman is dead. So there we go, we got Dustman. I have no idea what his weapon is, but we're going to find out. I think it's probably just one of those, like, well, his, what is, whatever his attack was. Um... Dust breaker or something. You got dust crusher. Oh well, <laughs> close enough, I guess. Dust crusher. Uh, stage select. I was about to go continue there. <laughs> right, so here we go. This is Skull Man. We're doing Skull Man stage now. Uh, I shouldn't do so bad at this stage because I've done it before. It's pretty easy actually. Um, probably the third easiest. I mean. Well, Ferroman's stage was pretty easy, but I don't know if this stage would be easier. Because uh, the enemies in here are quite easy to kill. They're not that tough. And they don't really take that much damage against you. Like, you'd think those cannons would take, like, ri like a whole hell of a load of damage against you, but they don't. See, this is me blazing Skullman stage. Yeah, these things you can kill with your Mega Buster. Like if you break him down. Oh no, maybe not. You can kill him in one shot with your Mega Buster, alright. But if you keep shooting him with your pea shooter, they just crumble up into little bones. And then they'll reform again back into the skeleton. It's kind of like uh, Ocarina of Time where you're trying to fight the Stalfos in uh, the Forest Temple. Where if you um, do so much damage against them, they crumble. But then you have to kill the other one before it reforms again. That was a royal pain in the ass trying to do that for the first time. <laughs> Even now it's still quite hard trying to kill those things quick enough to make sure that the other one doesn't come back to life again. Because you've got two of them in the same room and you're not really that well equipped. You don't have um, you don't have the big Goron sword by that time or any other really good weapon to you know slay them with. All that you have is the master sword and that's it. Right, I don't think you want to go this way, I think you just want to keep carrying on, going up the ladder. If I remember correctly. And there's an E-Tank somewhere around here, but it's really hard to get. It's probably one of the easy, hardest E-Tanks I think I've ever had, or t well, tried to get. Because you could easily fall down and die. There's not enough room to, um, like, strafe across. So, because you fall down pretty fast, you know. <laughs> So I'm not even going to bother trying to get that E-Tank, because there's no point. Uh, I don't know how tough Skullman is with um, Dustman's power, but I think we're almost, yeah, we're almost done with the stage, so. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, there you go, you have to use Rush Coil there. Crap. Well, I don't know where the checkpoint is. <laughs> well, we was doing pretty good for a second there, I thought. You know, we're just going to do it on the first time without dying. But I take it back. I think Ferroman stage is um, harder than this, actually. Because that, where we got to the part with the red sky in it, well, that's where the um, boss room is.
Right, here we go. We'll want, yeah, you want to use Rush Coil here. No! How? Oh my god, dude. No way. That was the... <laughs> oh my god. Oh, no way did that just happen. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Alright, I guess I can start resume recording here. All right. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. I can't believe that I actually did that. That's probably the most stupidest thing I think I've ever done in any of my LPs. I can't believe I missed the jump on Rush Coil and jumped off the edge. Right, we're not doing that again. Oh god, I think I'm about to get hit off right here. Oh, maybe not. Alright, so now you can use your Mega Buster. Well, yeah, now you can use your Mega Buster. No, now you can use your Mega... No, now you can use your Mega Buster. No, now you can use your Mega Buster. No, you... Oh my god! Just die! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, man. Fully charged, there we go. Fully charged. Alright, okay, I want to use Rush Coil as much as I can here. Well, thank you for ruining... Well, I don't, you know, he didn't ruin my charge shot. <laughs> Alright, so let's get Dustman's weapon out here. I'm just going to go full out here. I'm not even going to uh, mess around. I'm just going to try and kill him as fast as I can. I don't even know how... Like, how Dustman's weapon, like, goes. Like, oh, right, okay, it's just a shooter. Well, that's fair enough. Well, damn it. <laughs> well, damn it. <laughs> I died. That'd be so cool if you could charge up your shooter weapons, like, you know, your special abilities, like, for example, Dust Man's power. Imagine if you could charge that up with a Mega Buster, or, like, uh, have a Mega Buster for that. That'd be so cool. And kind of inventive. Alright, okay, yeah, this guy's attack is quite hard to dodge. Oh my god, dude, I died again. What the hell? I thought this guy was easy. I mean, the amount of damage I took there was ridiculous. And I don't have much power left in Dustman's weapons, so I'm kind of screwed. Right, he's going to start shooting you at the start, so you're going to have to jump. Right, I can use my Mega Buster for a bit, I guess. Just to take some damage against his ass. Okay, now you can start using Dust Man. Uh, if he touches you, the amount of damage he takes if he touches you... Like, him shooting you isn't much of a problem. It's just when he touches you. Okay, stop using your shield like a douche. Oh, come on. Uh, do I really have to redo this whole stage again off screen? Because now I've lost all my ability, all my power. Well, I might as well drag this out as much as I can because, like, this is the last stage right here that I'll be doing of the video. Oh, I, I don't really care. You might as well kill me, because there's no way I'm going to win anyway. You know. Uh, uh. Oh my god, guys. I have two extra lives. Well, you know what? Screw it. We're going to try Ferroman. See what Ferroman does. I doubt it would do much, though, because... Uh, fire against Skull? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. How about... Um, Brightman? Let's use Bright Man. Nope, doesn't do anything. How about Toad? I just want to experiment here, see if I can do anything. Wow, it's... What the hell was going on there? I can't even change my weapon. Well, that was bullcrap. And I don't think Toad Man's weapon will do anything either, so what's the point? I'm screwed, basically. Well, Toad Man's weapon does damage, but kind of effective damage, actually. All 
Well, I was doing quite good there for a second, but... Hmm. Well, I could use to... Well, you know what? I got a good strategy for this guy. Kind of. But I don't know if it'll work, though. I'll have to do it when I get my Dust Man powers back. Um, which means I'll have to redo the whole stage again off screen, but... Hopefully I'll get, like, some E-Tanks from that robot dispenser who gives you, uh, good items. Uh, the only problem with this guy, he scrolls from one screen to the next, and he, he doesn't jump that often. So really, you have to, like, nail him. Yeah, I think that's my last extra life anyway. So, yeah, right, okay, I'll see you guys when I get back to Dust Ma uh, Skullman's room, so I will see you then. Alright guys, I got the E-Tank as well from the um, Skull Play, uh, well, from that room with all those Skull Machines and those Worms. Yeah, I got that E-Tank. I didn't get the E-Tank from the robot because he didn't give me one, he gave me an extra life instead. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try using Toad Man's weapon. And if that doesn't work, like for the, like, the first few attacks of his, I'm going to try using Toad Man. And, um, well, it's not really doing that great deal, because well, I'm going to die. Look, if you touch him, you take so much damage. That's the only problem with this boss. If you take, if you touch him, you take like I don't know how much damage, but I know you take a lot. <laughs> like I, I don't really care about. Oh my god, dude. Oh. oh, this guy's gonna die. I ain't giving up. Dive Man is a really easy boss, like, much easier than this. I mean, I could beat Dive Man probably with my arm cannon if I tried really hard, but. Skull Man, on the other hand, Jesus Christ, this guy, it's just... Okay, now use... Wait, no, you might not even have to... Yeah, I didn't think I had to use my E-Tank. I was about to, though. <laughs> well, there you go. That's Skull Man for you. Finally, at long last, we have got him down. And he is dead. Right, so what's Skull Man's weapon, then? It might be the Skull Shield that he had, or... You got Skull Barrier, oh, yeah, Skull Barrier, Skull Shield. So I guess, I guess in the next episode, let's play Mega Man 4, we shall take on Dive Man, and then Drill Man, then Ring Man. Uh, I will, pro I promise you I'll get an episode of Banjo recorded tomorrow as well. Um, so all I'm getting up today is just going to be Mega Man 4, and then tomorrow I'll get up Banjo. And um, yeah, we'll be starting World 8, I think, in the next episode, so yeah. Um, Anyway guys, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching, take care of body, see you in the next video, and goodbye.